Oh yeah, number eight. Eight is great. We got Tyler Guyton. Um, played the last two seasons over at Oklahoma. Played two seasons prior to that over at TCU. So he's been traveling around the Panhandle area there, so to speak, of the uh, Oklahoma area. I remember right, TCU. I think it's pretty uh, pretty high up there. I don't think that's one of the lower schools in Texas. Now I'm wondering location wise. Let's see here. Oh, never mind. I take it back. It's in Fort Worth. It's not near the northern part of Texas. <laughs> no. It's in Fort Worth. Listen, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't pretend to know the smaller schools. Smaller schools. I know TCU is kind of a bigger school lately, but I'm sorry. You're a bunch of horn frogs. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And plus, Texas is like the third of the size of the United States. So it's all right. Uh, plus, there's, like, made the there's like 20 goddamn schools. It's true. But you just kind of made the mistakes from like, you know, New Jersey down to like West Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia. Take me mama. Home. Country road. Take me anyway. home. Yeah. There's a jack in the box right here. Nice. Oh. Never had jack. There's also a smoothie king there. I want a smoothie king now. I do like a smoothie king. Smoothies are good. Mm, um, anyways, I think I distract looking at a map of TCU. <laughs> and food. <laughs> um, six foot six, 306 pounds, 22 years old. Um, played right tackle almost exclusively. Did play 70 snaps at left tackle during his career. Here's the issue. This is the medical flag guy. This is who this guy is. He's got injuries literally every single year. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is the guy that I personally would take off my board in a heartbeat because there's so many good tackles. Why would I take the risk on a guy who's had injury issues, but I can see where somebody would say, you know what? I like the way he plays and I want to go ahead and keep this guy anyway. I think the medical is fine. I think it's bad string of luck or whatever the case may be, you know, um, 10 games. Is what he's played the last two seasons each. Had just only a 63.7 PFF grade in 23. And a lot of it's because injuries. Injuries were holding him back there. He was injured before he was even deemed injured at that point. He was that guy trying to play through. Um, quick feet, natural traits overall. Um, the cons just go into point blank. The injuries, the need to add weight. The fact that he's raw. When you miss injuries time in college at that point, you miss time to grow. You miss time to develop. You miss time to become what you can become. Uh, but people are going to look at his tape overall and look at some of the good stuff, think they can fix things at that point, and he'll go probably first, second round. But I, I'm i telling you right now, there's a players we're going to name here so, shortly that people have rated better than him. I will not do it point blank because of the injuries. I can't in good conscience sit there and say that. And maybe I'm just a biased Giants fan because we deal with so many goddamn injuries on our end. But I, I've I always just, said, yeah. I can't say how many times I've said it, but the best ability is availability. Yeah. And he's not that guy who's out for the season or whatever all the time or something like that. I don't want to make it seem like that, but he's that guy that's, you know, kind of like a Dory Jackson. You know, he's going to miss three or four games a season at that point. You just have mm. to kind of accept that as part of who he is and what he is. You know, that's where he's at. Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.